So we're mounting the heat exchanger here. So we're going to do the measurements outside of the boat because it's easy. So we just found center and a starting point and then we'll go from there. A stupid number. Six and five eighths. Shove that one mount back a little bit. Going for forward backward length with the drive shaft? Yeah. Do you want me to put it in? Sure. Getting ready to put the motor in the 11 foot boat uh, so we already have a good idea of how thick the motor mounts need to be so we have pieces cut already we start with the four back placement with the drive shaft so we know where to start and then we work with the c do alignment tool to find out exactly where it needs to go Like is it springing back or anything? Yeah. Or is it motor? Yeah. I'll just pull back a little bit. Or I'm wondering is it catching on the bearing a little? 
I think it looks good. Here, I'll just give it another. Yeah, like it's not moving, right? Okay, no, that's as far as I can go. Yeah. Yeah. What hardware is for that? The ones I set out. So we have the motor mounts drilled. I guess like our aluminum mounts drilled to the C do mounts, bolted together. The motor is aligned with the C do tool. So we're just gonna tack all the mounts in place, get rid of the engine hoist, and double check it. But we're pretty close there. We used one shim on each mount for future adjustments. If we dent the bottom of the boat and have to realign it, we don't want to be right up tight to the mounts. Some people think you don't want any shims, but we believe you should always have a shim worth of leeway to allow the motor to go back down after denting the crap out of the bottom of your boat.